I'd like to rise and, uh, and speak to this bill uh, that is presented on uh, behalf of the Honourable Georgina Tuhuhu, who uh, just recently congratulated the um, court staff who participated in a highly successful joint operation uh, with police in Waitakere, uh, which saw 10,000 vehicles stopped, thousands of dollars, dollars of fines recovered. Uh, Mr Speaker, this is an issue in our nation that many people do get upset about regarding the unpaid fines. Even uh, this year I received uh, correspondence from a very upset constituent uh, when a large amount of fines were cancelled because of the inability uh, of the courts to recover these fines. This bill uh, goes a long way to make the recovery of fines uh, a more thorough process. Uh, in order to uh, see, um, I believe, accountability and uh, responsibility uh, placed upon the shoulders of people who firstly infringe the law to incur a fine and secondly uh, do not uh, step up to the mark and to the plate and uh, take responsibility of the payment of that fine. Uh, it's been stated that um, a great number or a great percentage uh, of fines uh, issued to young people and uh, are not paid voluntarily uh, and are filed in the court for enforcement. 90 per cent of, of infringements, in fact. Uh, this is a very high per cent, uh, Mr Speaker. Local authorities report um, an 80, 90, 80 to 90 per cent voluntary payment for parking infringements and the police report that 75 per cent of speed camera infringements are paid voluntarily. So we must note that there is a very high proportion of fines, particularly uh, that young people incur, that are unpaid. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's obvious to all of us uh, the issues regarding around those fines uh, in terms of uh, uh, vehicle usage and speed of those vehicles and matters of the like. Um, there is a huge expense incurred in the purchase of vehicles and the running of those vehicles, uh, but Mr Speaker, there needs to be the responsibility uh, that uh, is essential for the driving of motor cars in a safe way in our communities. And so fines uh, are a very good way to bring a disincentive to bad behaviour. Uh, we have a huge amount outstanding, as other speakers have mentioned, and, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, $778 million represents a lot of extra, extra police on the beat or more elective surgery or better classrooms or means that our deficit is lower and less of our tax revenue is going to pay uh, interest or on overseas debt. Uh, we don't like to see uh, a huge number of people receiving infringement notices, uh, but it's a fact and a reality in our society. But what we do expect, and which this uh, bill will uh, go a long way to assist, is a responsible attitude to payment of those fines. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I believe that this is a, uh, a good bill that's going to bring improvement. I acknowledge the work of the Honourable Rick Barker and look forward to uh, this bill proceeding to Select Committee. Thank you. Rahui Kartani. Thank you, Mr Speaker. There are some pieces of legislation that I can stand proudly in this House, hand on heart, and say this is what our people want. I'm thinking of legislation like the repealing of the 2004 Foreshore and Seabed Act, or the private members' bill that just happened to be in my name. For example, the, the uh, GST of healthy food one and the one that's coming up, the uh, removal of 1080 poison. But I'm sorry to say that this bill is not one of those bills. I would have to say that not one of the constituents that I've spoken to in Te Taitonga has written to me, rung me or knocked my door down, pleading that we do something about enhancing the powers of the court to bring about the collection of fines. To be quite frank, the issue of overdue fines is inevitably going to have a disproportionate impact on Māori because, as this House well knows, Māori are four to five times more likely to be apprehended, prosecuted and convicted for a criminal offence than Pākehā. One of the great realisations...